What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to Work Knife Balance. Uh, I'm pretty excited. We got a new lock in. Well, not a new lock because we've already seen one knife with this lock, but it is the newest lock from Vosteed and a different model. So Vosteed's taking one of their classics and changing it up a little bit. Let's go ahead and head to the top down and see what we got. <laughs> All right, so we got this in through the pass around group. This is the Vostid Raccoon. Before we get too far into that though, I wanna go ahead and say thank you to anybody who's already liked and subscribed to the channel. If you haven't, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. You can also follow us at WorkKnifeBalance939. That's the best way to communicate with us. Let us know what you wanna see, what you don't wanna see, all that good jazz. So this is the Vostid Raccoon, the trash bandit himself. Uh, this is their newest variation of the Raccoon. The Raccoon is kinda of like their uh, flagship model. I would say this is kind of something that if if everyone, if you hear Vasti, this is what people know. Uh, at least for the most part, people know the Raccoon. Um, there are a couple other really cool models out there that they've become popular for. The Nightshade, the RS Chaos. Um, they've got a couple others, the Hedgehog, the Corgi, stuff like that. But uh, this is the Raccoon, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at this. We'll do side-by-side -side comparisons. We'll do some tip-to-tail measurements. Um, I'll give you my thoughts and opinions. It's probably going to be a short video because we've seen a raccoon before and the knife overall hasn't changed. We've just changed the lock on it. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started with the tip to tail measurements. Tip to tail, we're looking at about seven and a half overall length. We're looking at about 3.25 on the blade with about three inches on the cutting edge. You've got a really nice kind of choke up sharpening choil right there as well. So that's pretty cool. We'll go ahead and get started with some side-by-side -side comparisons. We'll start with something a little bit bigger. We've got the CDC Chicago. We're going to put right up top. And then we'll go ahead and pull out the NAFS Lander 2 down below. We'll go ahead and get the Kaiser Veritas up top. And we'll go ahead and pull out the Civivi Elementum to put down below. We'll go ahead and grab the CJRB Pyrite to put up top now. Go ahead and grab the Hogue Deca to put down below. And last but not least, everyone's favorite Benchmade, not really, but it is very popular, the Benchmade Bug Out up top. So there's some really good side-by-side -side comparisons. I think um, it kind of falls in that Bug Out size as you just saw there right at the end. So it is a it's a really good size and fit comparison to for a lot of people. Uh, Ergos are still fantastic. The Raccoon is a solid knife. Comes in a couple different variations. They have a button lock variation, which shouldn't be confused with this top liner lock. Easiest way to tell the difference is when you're looking at them side by side. This button is fully just as itself right there. There's no extra milling or anything. The button lock variation actually has milling that kind of goes out at a 45 from this button and uh, keeps a concaved area right in here or a a milled out area right in the micarta g10 whatever variation scales that are going to be on it the button lock has a little bit different look to where that button is going to be actuated and the button's in a slightly different spot as well this is going to be the top liner lock which is essentially a compression lock if we look at this right here i'm going to go ahead and hold it let's actually reverse it right here go ahead and hold it see if you can see right through there too you can see kind of it's easier to see from the back side right, we'll hold the blade and we'll do it from the back side right here. You can kind of see that actuating right there. I, I would take it apart and show you, but this is not my knife, so I don't want to take it apart. Um, other than the change on the locking system, I think it was an upgrade for the lock. You get really good strength on this lock. It's is basically the compression lock, which the patent on that has dropped from Spyderco. And now this is the first company to kind of take a stab at it, make their variation and put it on it. And Vosted is calling this a top liner lock. Um, there's not much difference to other raccoons. The, you do have a micarta. There's a couple different micarta versions out right now. You do have a reversible pocket clip. So you've got a deep carry clip um, that reverses to the other side. I've I think I've said this on other raccoons as well. You've got a deep carry clip that doesn't come all the way to the top, so your deep carry still has something poking out right there. Um, but it is a really nice clip. It's a really easy clip to get in. Lots of great retention on that clip as well. Uh, good ergos. The thumb studs are great deployment as well. You've got a little bit of jimping on this backside right here. 
but other than that, it's a solid knife and we know that. These are coming in at $65. They are sold out everywhere. I looked a couple of different areas to see if I can find some. Um, one, because I wanted to get a top liner lock for my collection, just because I don't have a top liner lock from Vosteed yet. Um, and I just couldn't find one anywhere. I couldn't find uh, the Raccoon, and this is probably the most reasonably priced one that's going to be out there for their top liner locks. They have the PSYOP that they just came out with, the Raccoon. Um, we also have the RS Chaos in. We'll do a video on that shortly. And we've got a Hedgehog in um, that we'll do a video on that shortly with the top liner lock as well. So this at 65 bucks is a pretty... It's, it's actually a solid price and a really good steal um, of a knife. I'm excited because the fact that they've done three different variations outside of the PSYOP, um, three different knives, three different knife models outside the PSYOP with the top liner lock, lets me know that Vosteed is now making top liner locks um, and going back on their models to make other ones. But one thing that really stinks about top liner locks, if you are a lefty, is this is solely a right-handed lock. It's uh, not ambidextrous in a way that if you hold this with your left hand, um, you could easily kind of cover up that button. And in the right pressure and the right consistency, you might actually push that button, which would loosen the lock for it to come down on you. So you want to be careful with that. And even as a left-handed person, it's going to be a little bit harder to get in there and operate that. Now, you can still operate this left-handed. It's just going to be a little bit more, you have to be a little bit more conscious of it as you're going through it. So left-handed and right-handed are both going to be able to use the knife. Um, so you could flip the clip over. I just would be more conscious if I'm carrying this left-handed. I wouldn't say this is 100% yet an ambidextrous lock, something like the access lock is. So, yeah, I don't have much else to say about this. This is the tried and true Vosteed Raccoon Trash Bandit himself, 65 bucks. We will post links below to Vosteed's website where you can find this is sold out. You can look at other stuff. If there's an Amazon link, it does support our channel. We greatly appreciate the support. Until next time, TTFN.